Great day today. Looking forward to great things. Jamaica needs a change. Change is coming. Bless up, bless up my people. Welcome back to the channel. It's your girl and Isabel Rose. Thanks to all the new subscribers. Thanks to the returning subscribers. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. Turn the post notification bell on. Put it on all so you won't miss an upload from me. On the road to 20k, help me to get there, my people. So in this one, my people, EOJ says all systems are in place for the big day today, which is election day. As well as I'll show you a clip it of Mark Golding heading out early to cast his vote at the polls. Stay tuned for the details at hand. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Run go over to my other platform at Bell Rose Shorts Media. Subscribe over there. Get that channel to 1K. Please and thanks. So my people, today is a big day. February 26th, a long-awaited local government election day is today. So my people may have some information as it pertains to the director of elections, Mr. Glasspole Brown. So he's saying that the electoral system is all set to accommodate a little over 2 million Jamaicans eligible to cast their vote in today's long-awaited local government elections. A total of 6,726 polling stations in 2,148 locations across the island will be open as early as 7 a.m. and will remain open to the public up to 5 p.m. So my people will have 10 hours what are voting. So who can catch in at the early segment and catch in at the even segment. But we'll go out there and cast on a vote, my people, that's full of constitutional right. Mr. Brown quoted that we have been working diligently to ensure that all is in place. The constituencies have met, supplies have been distributed, and workers have received their final briefing yesterday. The Electoral Office of Jamaica, in the meantime, is encouraging electors to exercise patience at the polling stations and to bear in mind that they have until in the evening to cast their votes. So my people only know say some people have forgot work so the lines might be a bit longer during the morning session of voting. So they're asking for Uno to bear some patience. And we know that last Thursday was the special voters um day to vote like the election day workers as well as the police and the soldiers who will be working on election day. They were given the twenty second to cast their votes and there was some discrepancy at one of the polls my people where ballot box you know for that station did not arrive and so they had launched an investigation to determine what happened so we are hope say nothing like that don't happen today hoping that all the stations have their ballot boxes for the voters to cast their votes Voters will have the option of selecting their choices from the 496 nominated candidates island-wide, including 37 independents in 14 municipal corporations. Also included in the polls are three candidates vying for the only directly elected mayorship in Portmore, St. Catherine. From among the candidates, both the Jamaica Labour Party and the People's National party have each fielded 229 candidates while there are four for the united independence congress according to the eoj the election will be monitored by the election center a hub for receiving and validating reports on incidents on the ground and providing resolutions as well as issuing reports to the media where necessary Local observer group Citizens Action for Free and Fair Elections Cafe and a small delegation from the Organization of American States and the British High Commission will also be watching the process. Cafe Chairman Grace Baston noted that she has been impressed with the work of the EOJ in preparing for the elections. She also stated that the group will be vigilant in ensuring that the electoral process is free and fair. We all want a free and fair election. And they're asking all the party supporters to, you know, 
be disciplined and responsible as they go out to vote. Safe voting, be careful, my people. No war and strife at the end of the day, we're all Jamaicans. And so, no go out there, go cast on a vote in a peaceful manner. Go out there, go cast on the votes with love. And so, right now, in this segment, my people, we've seen where Mark Golden took to the polls early and he went along with his wife and he went and cast his vote. Morning, morning, morning. Great day today. Looking forward to great things. Jamaica needs a change. Change is coming. X beside the head. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. So, talk up my people. Tell me what's the atmosphere right now, currently in the area that you are. What are the vibes when I get from the whole local government election so far. Remember, the polls have been open um, for two hours now. My time right now, it's 9 a.m. And so, when you just give me a feel of what I go on in a phony area, jump it in at the comment section. Tell, tell me what you think the outcome will be for the counting later today. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Run go over to my other platform, Instagram and Facebook, and follow me over there at Anissa Bell Rose. Check out the YouTube store, make a purchase, it goes in support of the channel. Check out the YouTube membership, you get a lot of benefits by becoming a member. We do notification shout out in each and every video to be a part of that. All you have to do is be the first to like, comment, and subscribe, and you will be featured in the following video to come. This notification shout out goes to Anthony R. Big up yourself, Anthony. Thanks for the continued support from each and every subscriber. New viewers, come on board, journey with me, join the family. Subscribe to the channel, like up the video, share out the videos. Support the ABR movement by playing your part. On the road to 20k, we can do it, my people. Stay tuned for more videos. Stay tuned for more updates. Get this video to at least a thousand likes, my people. As we get more updates about this election, we're going to bring it to you. So, stay tuned. Big up on yourself.